Hello there, welcome to Aids and Caffeine. My name is Sahil. In this video, I am going to tell you the relationship between polyunsaturated fats and heart. About almost a century ago, the main source of fat was butter and lard, which has now changed to cheap vegetable oils, which are very high in polyunsaturated fats. So in 1910s, in United States of America, a company called Crisco introduced vegetable oil in the form of cotton seed oil. It was very difficult for the company to convince people that their product was better than what people were currently consuming, that is butter and lard, which are very high in saturated fats. So the company spent a lot of money on marketing. They hired a lot of professionals and they gave samples to people who were in the food industry. That is how vegetable oils were introduced. Prior to 1930, heart attacks were not common. After early 1930s, there was a huge spike in the incidence of deaths from heart attacks. Right around the time when people started using vegetable oils as the main source of fat, which was supposed to improve their heart health. It is believed that polyunsaturated fats do not increase serum cholesterol as they are low in cholesterol while saturated fats do as they are high in cholesterol. Firstly, cholesterol is a good compound. We'll speak about the benefits of cholesterol in some other video. Secondly, the incidence of high serum cholesterol has increased when people have started using more polyunsaturated fats as the source of fat and less saturated fats as the source of fat. Polyunsaturated fats increase cholesterol indirectly. We'll speak about that in some other video. Elbert Zen Georgi showed that the cardioprotective estrogen decreased the staircase effect. It is a state where heart beats frequently, strongly, and it pumps more blood, while progesterone increases the staircase effect. Polyunsaturated fats are positively related to estrogen, and they also mimic estrogen in some situations. Polyunsaturated fats increase oxidative stress, estrogen, cortisol, and the activity of sympathetic nervous system, which will increase adrenaline, another stress hormone, and a vasoconstrictor. All these hormones are related and they all increase the incidence of heart disease. An increase in estrogen will lead to an increase in all these other hormones. Avoid polyunsaturated fats and include saturated fats. I've already made a video on fats. The link to that is in the description. Do not include polyunsaturated fats in your regular diet. You can have it in your cheat meals. But even then, avoid fried foods. That is it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and I shall see you next time.